Welcome back to our channel. In this lecture, we are gonna show how to set up a drawing sheet. So launch your SolidWorks application. And here we have our icon, new. Let's click a new. Now we have three options here, part, assembly, and drawing. We can go to advanced option, and we have the same options, part, assembly, and drawing. We can double click on drawing, or just click one time, and then OK. Now we have to choose sheet format size. Here we have some standard sheet size. A0, A1, A2, A3, and A4. We can also click here on Browse, and now we can choose our format size. Let's go with A landscape. And OK. And now we have created drawing sheet. Here we can insert our views. And here are some information we can fill out about our drawings. And then in the next lecture, we are gonna show how to create orthographic views. So we can open our random part. And now we go to this icon, new. And here we have some arrow. Let's click on this arrow. And here we have option, make drawing from part assembly. So let's click on this. Now we choose our drawing. Here we have to choose our sheet format. Let's go pros. And let's go with a landscape. And OK. And now if we want to insert our part on the drawing sheet, and if we want to create orthographic views, we have two options how we can do this. We can go here, drawing tab in 2022 version, but in 2016 version, it will show the view layout tab. And here we have model view. So let's click on model view, and now we have this part, open documents part, so let's double click on it. And now we have some options here, we can create front view, we can create top view, we can insert bottom view, right view, left view, isometric view, and here we have more views, diametric, trimetric, and current model view. So let's insert front view, so just drag our mouse here, and now we can place our view here. And this is now our base view. Now if we drag our mouse up, automatically we have top view. So you can just click on it, and that's it. And if we go right, we have right view. If we go left, we have left view. If we go down, we have bottom view. And if we go to side here, we have isometric view. And you can just click on it, and OK. And now if we click on the front view, base view, and try to drag it, we see that all views are connected. So the base view is the first view we inserted into drawing file, and other views are linked to our base view, except for the isometric view. If we move isometric view, we see only isometric view is moved. If we move right view, we see that we can't move right view up and down because it's linked to our base view. We have to move our base view. And those views that we have created are orthographic views. Those are standard views. Also, we have another option how we can create our views. But first, let's delete those views. We can click on this one, and now we can just press on the keyboard, delete. And yes. And now only right view was deleted. But also, we can right click on our view, and delete here. If wanna delete all, we can select all, and press delete. Yes to all. Here we have view palette. Let's click on the view palette. And here we have parts that are open. So we have open now only part document. And here down, we have a different views of this part. So also we have a front view. We can insert front view. Now we can create a top view, bottom view, and so on. Let's click escape. Let's go to view palette. And we can insert top view separately like this. And now we only have front view and top view. We also have isometric view, the metric view, three metric view, and current view. This is the view of the model in the part document file. So those are two ways how you can insert your views onto drawing sheet. Thank you for watching. I hope it can be a little helpful and useful.